welcome to the hangout sessions and myself and perry we're gonna do something a little bit different so this morning the boy frank ocean dropped a project and we were just gonna discuss it and just just run through the project and talk about what we liked four year hiatus do you know what i mean that's a long time man endless but what i wanted to know like perry like is this the project because i don't even know what's going on like is wasn't it supposed to be boys don't cry is this what it's yeah. supposed to be or is it going to be two well i'm I, on social media everyone's like oh i can't wait till the other one drops so i'm thinking wait surely he wouldn't put out two albums there's no point in that but then everyone's like this is a visual album which it is because we watched it yeah, and then everyone's saying, like, I can't wait till Boys Don't Cry comes out. So I'm thinking, wait, is, it two, is, he, is he dropping two albums or is he just dropping Boys Don't Cry as endless but with tracks, so not the visual album? Like, I, 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 this is the thing. Like, what he's doing now is, what he's doing now, we don't know. Like, I like it. Everything he does now is unpredictable. Everything mm. like, we don't even know what's he going on. on. He, he like he likes to he likes to. You can tell that he 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 enjoys confusing people, and that's his style. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, bro. I love it. Like one of my favorite things about him, apart from his songwriting and his voice, is just the mystery. That's what's drawing yeah. to it. He. It's funny because when um when he came on the scene, him and Weekend were like the two front runners at the time. They both mm. had their niches. Yeah. And then, like, at the time, Weekend was the mysterious one. Mm. And Frank was the more mainstream one. Yep. And they've, like, swapped roles. Swapped roles, and, like, now man. Everyone's like, wait. Everyone's like, wait, what's Frank doing? Like, who? Wait, is this, a, like, is this the album? Like, what? Bro. And then everyone's like, okay, so Weekend's in the pop charts, getting number ones. Weekend's a superstar. All. Weekend is doing what Frank Ocean, we expected Frank Ocean to be doing. And Frank Ocean is doing what we wanted and expected The Weekend to be doing. It's mad. They're completely role reversed. It is so mad. So the, um, the film starts and the first thing we hear is this sweet falsetto on um, At Your Best, which is, I knew to be a, um, a Leah cover. But apparently it's like first there was an Isley Brothers song first. I need to hear that. Like to see what Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, like but I knew it as an Aaliyah Aaliyah cover in it and it it's got the um I know that Drake used the sample from the Aaliyah bit on um Unforgettable, which is great, great Drake song. But yeah, man, Frank smashed that song in it, like Yeah, nice for say I, I weren't really feeling yeah. the beat. I weren't really feeling the beat though, man. But <laughs> was a bit too slow for you a bit bit ballady yeah like i feel like he was just just kind of testing it out. i don't know the, the falsetto was good obviously yeah just maybe maybe it was just showing it showing off bro showing yeah. off that sweet falsetto i liked it in it i liked it i thought it was a good cover i don't really mess with covers too tough but i thought it was a good cover but frank i was i was, I was thinking like frank shows off you know because he doesn't always sing up there like he doesn't always hit the falsetto he does it now and again like that's i don't i don't know why i don't feel he feels he's too comfortable up there like he doesn't often go up there but when he does nah. it's not that it's not that it's probably just what is he, it bro it's probably because he knows he can do it at any time it's kind of like savoring it for the tracks that are worth bringing it out you know what i mean yeah you know, he's going to put it on every single track like maxwell <laughs> 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 I'm saying, <laughs> like Maxwell is known. That's what he's known for, isn't it? Them Eric Benets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the weekend. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> like, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. He smash. He's so good. Like when he's up there, mm, nah, he's good. Man. And then, like the next, so I'm watching it, thinking, okay, Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. So I remember the way. Yeah, you're happened. watching it. You're watching. It. You're like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> yeah like not much changes like but the music changes i have a lot to say i have a lot to say on what's going on man because i watched <laughs> it like and i just started deep in things <laughs> alabama comes on i found it a bit mad how it was recording like how it was recorded all the lines overlapping and that but i liked samfer at the end i thought that was sick yeah, I did, uh, the track the, the track i just kind of yeah. 
See, I didn't stand out to me. It didn't stand out to me. I liked it because Frank and Sam Frank and Sam started asking a few a few good questions at the end of the song. But I don't know. I just Fair. like Frank and Sam They just got their voices are just so distinct. For me, so far, like the vi- like audio. So we're watching this as a vi- as a visual audio. Then I then I went back and listened to the track separately. But as a visual, I'm watching this, and I'm currently currently probably more intrigued by the visual. Like at mm. this point, like the audio ain't really hit me yet. I'm kind of just like, okay, all right. And then mine comes in and he starts like basically rapping. Yeah, I love when he does that. So, like, I love when I he does that. It was, does it? Yeah. Get a boy North Every, Face. Everyone has a little rap tune here and there. Yeah, man. I said, like, get a boy North Face, too cold on these hoes. Heard that. And I was like, yeah, 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 everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone wants to just do a rap tune here and there. Yeah, why not? Even, why not, man? Even Chris Brown. I might do one yeah, more. Why, <laughs> why not, man? Why not? I feel like he was just testing it out. To be honest, though, I look back at this and I look at the, the track lengths and I think he's definitely, this is probably throwaway material from the past four years. Do you reckon? You were probably yeah, right. man. Cause I feel like it's throwaway material or material where he thought like he was experimenting with uh, stuff that he didn't want to. He didn't want to like add a separate tracks into the album. Like they weren't because a lot of them are really short, man. Yeah, like one minute like, fifty five. Testing. To me, it seems like he's just testing things out. He's just experimenting, and he's like, you know what? I've got good enough material here to turn it into a little into short one film. sort of track, one sort of. Yeah, a little short film or something. He would have definitely been in, he would have been in the studio a ridiculous amount of time. He probably yeah, created on. a lot of content. So yeah, next song was similar, letting the lyrics go again with the little rapping. Was it UNIT? Well, uni- yeah, the Unity. Yeah. I like this one. This is the f- See? first one I started to like. See, I liked mine. I didn't really like it. Like I li- like this one. See, I love. I that. liked it. I thought there was a message here. What was the message? Because. You need to. You he need just, to. He was talking about like Chirac, Palestine. He was talking about um, peace signs and stuff. I felt like it was just something. It was short. Mm. It was short, but I felt like it's the first thing that I could actually kind of get a, get a grasp on. The others just felt a bit, a bit wishy washy to me, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't like. I'm opposite to you. I like. You I, I, I like. I liked the track before, and it was similar because they, they mm. weren't really hitting the notes, but. I don't know. I didn't mm. feel the replayability. Fair, fair, fair. fair. Um, next one. I, my, I have no French. So was it Comme des, Comme des Garçons? Is it even oh, French? You skipped, you skipped the, um, the, the interludes, yeah? Yeah, In I didn't really. Way. The interludes are a bit like, what? Are like, what, 15 seconds and that? <laughs> yeah, 13 seconds. <laughs> things like that prove to me that he's probably just, it's just throwaway. Yeah. Now the interludes are beautiful. <laughs> or just experiments. Experiments. Yeah. He's just like chuck it in there, man. What was it Comme des Garçons? I feel like Yeah, Comme des Garçons. So I was like, what does that mean? Like I, I don't even know what it means. It means something like like boys. Like boys. Um something about the boys. I don't think it's plus I'm trying to decipher this song, like, does this song mean feelings come and go like boys? Like I don't, I don't know. I like this tune. I wanted it to be longer. Swear down. Sounded like from how it sounded, it sounded good in it. I don't know what he was saying in it, but from the first visual, from the first time I listened to it on the visuals, it sounded good. I love like come like we're disagreeing with everything because I wasn't feeling that song, but I respect the message. <laughs> it? Feelings come and go like boys, you know. Feeling come and go like girls. <laughs> but obviously, he likes boys, isn't it? So that was his message. But I don't know. I wasn't really feeling the song, but you know. Fair. Was it wither? Like one of those mm. slow ones again. Or do you like wither? Apparently, wither means with her. Um, it's like a cheeky bit of wordplay. This okay. one was long enough to keep my interest. Like I like this one. This one felt like um, properly like chilled because it was long enough. It was like a proper track length in it. Mm. Like two minutes thirty-five or whatever, and I liked it. Plot them Jasmine Sullivan vocals um, at the end. That's 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 weird. I like, don't even, again, I don't know what it is about. I don't know what the tune's I, about. I'm not sure. I'm not listening to it enough. I need to hear it a good few times. Yeah, man. Talking about like flowers withering, but with her, with her, with her. I felt like it was just exper- like he it sounded like he was just experimenting again with vocals. I didn't feel like he was saying much. 
the tune's one big metaphor, but yeah, mm. it's interesting that like ja I noticed Jasmine Sullivan's vocals on a lot of the songs, and it's interesting because she never said anything. I not to my knowledge, she never said, "Oh, I've been working with Frank." Or yeah, he probably has an NDA where he just like don't reveal. Um, I can imagine he's probably got a few contracts where he just tells people just to chill, yeah. like. <laughs> Sort of thing. Yeah, she's got. Don't say anything. She's another one with a spectacular voice. So to get her I just didn't... doing background vocals on your song, it's not even like credit. It's just, well, it probably got credit in the. Obviously, it would have got credit in the like. In the world, yeah, but or like at the end of the film, <laughs> but she's not featured. But then I think, obviously, I'm leaving out the interludes because they're all like 40 seconds worth of like random beautiful noises. Was it in here somewhere? Mm. This one I really liked, isn't it? Yeah, I kept playing it. I kept starting it again. This one and with her, I really, I really liked, isn't it? Like these two tracks is where it started to get good for me. He, uh, he wasn't saying much in, in in here somewhere though. Like a lot of it is just instrument, like instrumental. But like I played, I it noticed something on the visuals as well. What when this song came on? I remember, I asked you about this track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what? Yeah. So in the visuals, in the visuals, he starts to. Um, as well, man, because the visuals, re re but like, what I know, what do you, right, what do you think about the visuals? Like, Wait, what did you say? The visuals, what? What do you think was going on with the visuals? Like, what did you think was happening? Bro, I was questioning everything. I was like, what's going on? Why is he doing that? Like, what was, is this the song where he left the room? <laughs> I think, no, I think uh, in, in this, is it, what's it called? I think at this point he's like, I noticed that he's, he starts putting on like that white suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, so he left the room, point. or did, was that an extra close up of him? Well, he's obviously I... like there's clones of him in it, so they like always see him at different times, isn't it? But like at this point, he puts on a different piece of clothing, isn't it? So he's like changing. But one thing I thought, what did you think about the visuals? Like, did you think it meant anything, or did you think it was just random jargon that just like made it look kind of. Bro, I didn't. I, I didn't have interesting a, for the sake of it. I didn't have a clue. Like at first, I was really trying to decipher what was going on, and then I started thinking like, maybe, maybe there's it, nothing. Maybe nothing's going on, and this guy just wants us to just to do think, this, because yeah, yeah. like, this is what he's been doing for the past three, four years. Yeah. Like, yeah. what was that white suit? Was he in the know. room? I I have a theory on the um. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be shoot. I could just be shooting in it, like. Go on, shoot. I could just be shooting, like it might not be anything, yeah. But on, from the visuals, what I was thinking straight away was, so from the start, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like one fact, and I'm seeing two. At, at the start, obviously, you don't know what's going on in it. You don't know what's happening. He's like, maybe he's 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 building something or creating something, cutting things up, mm -hmm. and then um, and then another one joins him and. Help him do something else, and so I'm like, okay, what's he working on? And as it as it plays out, like there's different versions of himself doing different things at different times, isn't it? Mm. And then I start, then you start to clock, okay, so he's painting it now, and then it's like, and now he's like, I mean, he's moving them somewhere else, and I'm like, okay, so once I clock what that he's actually making steps or some sort of sculpture. I start to realize that maybe it's like a, a metaphor for like how he creates music in it, like different parts of himself. Jeez. Like yeah. he creates, he creates art mm. and he has to go into himself and find different parts of himself in it to do it. Like at some points he's like reading his phone, like he's maybe that's like a, a mental block. At other points he's like, he's going back to the, um, he's like working on it again. He's doing different things to it at different points. And like him putting on that, that jacket at 18 minutes, I don't know. I saw that as like a maybe a metaphor for him, like going into a different part of himself in it, or like summoning a different sort of personality for a different track. Mm. Like, I don't know. So, so a bit like the way we all use the falsetto sometimes. Like he'll use the he'll hit yeah. the ranges. He might start rapping. Obviously, he yeah, the piano yeah. on quite a few of the songs as well. So he's got a production side. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that, That's man. how I saw it. I saw like, it as where wait him I, making a piece of art. And he's not, he's, he's using different parts of himself to make the piece of art, isn't it? Like, so where, or where were the stairs leading to? I don't think they were leading to anywhere. I think he was just making a, a sculpture. Do you know what I mean? 
swear down. And that's and, and that, that could be like what this that could be like what this visual album is. Like you just made it. Like Yeah. Put and then out, like, you see right at the end it goes back to the beginning. Mm. So it's just like, okay, that is that how he completes the track? And then boom, at the end it disappears, the sculpture disappears, and he goes right back to the beginning where he's just starting from scratch again. So it's like, okay, yeah. maybe it's a metaphor for starting a new project, like how how he summons different parts of himself to like make a project in it. Like, because we know he's not the sort of person who just pumps stuff out. Mm. He's a four year hiatus. He ain't, he ain't a prolific artist who just pumps stuff out for no yeah. reason. Everything like, has obviously been, some even sort of... Even if we go back, right back to Nostalgia Ultra, like some of the videos from that. Yeah, man. Amazing. Like, wasn't going to say. So we we're talking about in here somewhere. We both liked it. Will I be playing it next week or even next month? I don't know. Like, I don't know. So, but I liked mm. it. And it was the one that I kept restarting, mm. trying to understand what was going on. Is it slide on me? I wasn't really feeling it. But when that bass came in, I was like, yeah, bro. That's when I turned up my speak. <laughs> yeah, the beat was nice. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It came in. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Something yeah. Funny, funny bars in it, though, but yeah. <laughs> I know, and uh, yeah, that, that song went into Sideways. I, actually, yeah. the, I loved the ending of that slide on me, and then that went into Sideways. Actually, no, it's Sideways with the funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sideways, he, he said a madness. He said a madness, bro. I was like, what? Back in Sideways, he was talking about his, um, his fame or something, or like his status, or I don't know. Maybe he was talking about life, how it's changed. He was talking about Swan Necks as well. <laughs> Yeah. Then he mentioned falling asleep in the for in the foreign mm. after the free show. So yeah, bit of, bit of opulence talk. And then Florida was just beautiful sounding vocals and harmonies that I probably won't listen. This must to have been uh, Bernie Vare must have been in it as well. You reckon? It's got Bernie that. Vare must have been. I think it was because I, I think I clocked him. Uh, Vernon's voice got them got them layers. Justin Vernon. Early on, you hear him at the start. I don't know what my, the purpose of that song will be for me. Like, I think the only way I listen to that song is when I listen to Endless all the way through or watch it again. I don't think I'll go, ah, oh, let me listen to Florida. Yes. Or yeah. unless, ah, uh, like, if I'm trying to do something myself, I might listen to it to see how he's layered the vocals. And then, but yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. That was just flexing again, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then was it Death Wish? See, that was my favorite tune. That's the song I'm gonna Is keep it? playing. That's with James Blake on it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep playing that tune. I love that tune. Like, in fact, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes when I I listen to a project, do you know, this is what I love music for. Because when I listen to a project for the first time, I just love that when I hear that song for the first time, and it hits me, and I keep playing it. Like that's what this has done to like to me. So if I don't play like endless much anymore. I will always play Death Wish. I think that's a sick song, man. Like I liked how it played through like a um like it went through like a story. Like there was different la- like it, it it didn't just stay the same. It wasn't a monotonous mm. sounding yeah, yeah. it, it evolved as the track went on. Yeah, and there's a few there's a song. It's a song. It's mm. not just an idea that like I could tell like this probably if if Boys Don't Cry is to come out, I've heard people saying it might come out this weekend. And I could tell like this song might have just missed out on that. And if this is the kind of songs he's leaving off a bigger project, then whoa, like we're in for like a good album. But yeah, like because I think yeah. I've got a theory on like shorter songs like this, because I really like short songs. Like I and I think it gives it replayability factor. Sometimes when a song is five, six minutes yeah. long, I like it, but it's like I, I there's songs that I listen to like three times in a row, man, because of the the length of the song. Like, see, I like I like I like long songs, man. If it's a good, obviously, if it's a good song, if it's I a like good, good song. long songs, but yeah, I prefer but them I, to good short songs because good short songs keep me wanting, which is also a good thing. But yeah. I prefer it, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish that I wish that tune had an extra like. I, a few, I mean, a few examples of this would be "Love Song Minus One" by The Internet. Of purple naked ladies i love that song mm. it's like and it's it's one minute mm. and a half and i love it bria's interlude drake and amarian two minutes long i love that song like and i listen to it twice or three times every time because it's like i just want more like it gives it a big replayability factor 
I can't remember what song yeah. it was by um Miguel. Ah, oh, do you listen to Miguel? Yeah, here and there. I've got yeah, it Miguel... recent work. Um, but not even it wasn't it was one of the first ones he did. I can't remember what I think it might have been All I Want Is You. There's a song on there. I think it's a door. I think it's a dawn. Like when it first came out, it was about two minutes long and everyone was like, yo, why is that song so short? And then when it dropped again, I think he did a video and it was on the mm-hmm. next album and it had another verse or it had a bridge on there. And it was longer, but I just loved when it was shorter. I played a shorter version. Yeah. But yeah, like went off on a tangent there, but we love music, innit? So then Rushes. What's the next track? Rushes. Yeah, I didn't like, I didn't like this track, man. Wait, see the lover yeah, version. The the lover version of me back in 2010 would have loved this song, you know. <laughs> but I don't want to hear that. But I don't want to hear that. Like I, like I prefer. Like, I'm on about the way it sounded because I've not really deep the lyrics on it. Yeah, yeah. Be, but like from what I heard, I just was like, uh, yeah, didn't was, like the beat. Didn't like it. Yeah, didn't like the feel. You don't. Yeah, yeah just weren't feeling it. The next one though, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. my favorite track off it. Rushes too. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say I like Rushes too. Yeah. This was my favorite track off the whole thing because this is like vintage Frank Ocean now. Like, I like how the beat comes in. I, I like the drop. I like the. I don't know. It reminded me of um. What's that tune that he covered for Beyonce? Was it that he wrote for Beyonce? Is it "I Miss You"? Yeah. Nearly busted. Yeah, I kind of just it gave me that. It kind of gave me that. Uh, that kind of vibe. Them, like, obviously, yeah, I've only listened feels, to it once or twice. Yeah, smashed it vocally as well. So that was some, yeah, that was gold. That was gold, man. And do you know what? You know what he said. Like halfway through, he starts going for it, and it reminds me of when I first listened to Pink Matter. Mm. When he hit that, oh mm. man, I think. I yeah. think it's when he hits the second chorus on Pink Matter, and it's I just the, yeah, it's the same it's similar sort of build up he's got in this. He starts off yeah. slow, just eases you in, and then he starts he starts smashing them them vocals. It's... And the last song was, and con- yeah, was I say considering I didn't really like Rushes, it gave Rushes a purpose in it. Like now it has a purpose because <laughs> it's got a second part to it. It's on the last one. What's the last one called? Higgs. Higgs, yeah. Yeah, this one. I don't know what was going on. You need to explain <laughs> to me what this tune was about because I don't know what's going on with this tune. I don't know what's going on. And the outro as well that was connected to it. That was a bit that was a bit mad as well. But do you know what? It's funny because people are probably listening to it thinking, yo, you're talking about this album way too quick. You need to listen to it a bit more. Well, this is obviously first reaction though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's first reaction. And I'm also I'm thinking like there's def- he's definitely saying something in the outro. Like Although it's a bit funky and like it's a bit synth pop eighties like synthy yeah. like I know he, there's a message there. He's saying something. Is it even him? What the voice? Yeah, like this is what I was trying I to. Don't talk. Know, maybe it could be. Maybe this could is just, be. maybe this is just him channeling to another part of himself. But that last song, I was, trying to, I was trying to. He's definitely saying something. I haven't quite worked it out yet. But if you're listening to this and you've clocked what he's going on about in this song, message us in it or just comment on the video because it'd be interesting to hear what people think. But yeah, I think he, yeah, he tapped into something there. Tapped into something. But all in all, what were you thinking? Like, It's funny because we watched it different ways, isn't it? I obviously watched the visual audio first. You watched, you listened to the audio, then watched the visual. So. Yeah, we- just that alone gave me two different it gave we will probably have different it'll give us different vibes i liked it more exactly i liked it more when i watched it with the visuals because i went i was taking it in as one sort of large track uh, it's only when i started to dissect the tracks so that we could talk about the tracks that i noticed which tracks i did it like but sometimes with art you need to view it as just one piece which is what i like with certain albums mm. But yeah. I feel like to get the best out of this, you have to watch it with the visuals. That's what I would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. So I watched it. I listened to it. And then I went into the visuals. But yeah, I, I definitely, you got to watch it with the visuals. And I really liked what you said about like him channeling and tapping into different parts of his, like... Mm, his, like his, moving his, things, his swimming, tap- spreading. 
yeah, it's just arsenal of talents. Like he's just tapping into each part and just bringing it out. I really like yeah, that, man. Like, and I think I'm watching it as the whole visual. I think you can really see that as a oh. whole project, as a whole project. I don't know. I don't know. It, I think we're going to have to wait to see what happens with the next project. Cause I think, I don't think this is the one now I've given it. Nah, a... It's not, it's not. I so, really doubt this is the one I really okay. doubt it. I, I'd be shocked. I think he's going to come with, uh, I think he's going to come with the um, boys. Don't cry album. And he's going to have, he's going to have a couple of videos ready that, yeah. for some of the main tracks of it that are going to probably already been made or they're being made now. So what, you, and, so, um, so what you're saying, he's showing off, he's showing off or he's trying to build this is, interest. This is something that, this is something that we would do, man. Remember we did that untitled track back at uni. Oh my god! Remember when we, <laughs> like, <laughs> remember when we made a video before, like I even dropped anything. We made a video with no words. It was just me in the studio. I think it was called. Un- it was called. Um, oh, it's called something like untitled. I can't even from... remember, but it was wavy. Like this is the thing. That's why I. I, I I see it as a power move. Now everyone's talking about Frank. I look at my, I took, I look at my Facebook, and people have taken the time out to talk about Frank Ocean. Normally, they're not really saying. I thought much. it was wicked. I get it. I, I feel like I get the visuals. I get, I get what he's doing in the video, and um, it, it's convinced me about his. It's it's reaffirmed what I first thought because obviously I looked at the end and it said he was a director, which means he probably just said to his boys or his, his, his camera crew, like, look, I just want to do this idea where like I'm creating a bit of art. Then it just disappears right at the end. And that kind of signifies to me how quickly people get over new music nowadays, like how people are begging him for music. Mm. It's like, bro, if you want to, if you want to make something, yeah, they come. like if you want someone to make something that comes from an actual place, that's that's or something to sub some sub some sub sub some substance yeah or something worth saying you can't just pump stuff out like obviously when he broke through on the, on the scene he would have had like years worth of content that he wanted to that well, he wanted to share with people innit? well we know that from exactly. him being lonnie baru like we know that mm. and like, then suddenly people are like yeah okay now do it again now do it again now do it again it's like yeah. well like it's it's what what I found crazy is people are like, oh, I need Frank Ocean, need Frank Ocean, blah, blah, blah. Bruv, like, as like, we both create, we both make things. We know it takes time. Like, it takes time. Yeah. Like, I, and this is no, this is no disrespect to like artists such as Young Young Thug and Future, Migos, because I will listen to their stuff now and again. But that a lot of that is fast food music. I'll say one more time, yeah. I listen to them, but it's fast food music. This will live forever. Like, you know what Drake, I mean? like that Drake, like that Drake, um, so, like that Drake uh, tune. Who oh, what tune? It's so far, nothing was the same. Where, like, the voice in the background says, like, only real music is going to last, isn't it? Oh, all yeah. That, all um, that pound, stuff will be here today and pound, be gone tomorrow. Pound cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, though, man. Yeah, it's true. Man. The whole Drake debate. We could go into Drake any time, but yeah, like <laughs> definitely. Only the real stuff will last. Frank Ocean will last. Nostalgia Ultra. That mean that mixtape means a lot to me, man. Jeez, that came out at a nice time. Channel Orange classic. Oh, he's a hero for this project now because it's just. So, what are you saying into... about this then? What wrap it up in wrap it up in a in a couple of sentences? wrap it up make sure you watch it with the visual and if you can pick a few songs out that you're going to keep playing then it's done its purpose but i think this is building for something bigger so expect more from frank what are you saying perry yeah pretty much the same i say if you're going to watch it for the first if you're going to hear it for the first time watch it with the visuals first then go back and, and listen to the separate track and what if I view it as a as a piece of art, which is what I think was intended. Yeah, man. not to sound um, not to sound pretentious, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the message behind the whole visual album, anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah and man. I, I'd expect Boys Don't Cry to probably drop pretty soon. I love that we've not compared this to any of his past projects because, like you said, it's a piece of art. But yeah, this is the hangout sessions.
we 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 can do more than just football you know we can do it like we're interested right. in loads of things right, we're versatile, versatile, man. listen we can we can mix it up at any given moment but obviously obviously pogba pogba like <laughs> <laughs> what with pogba yeah we can mix it up yeah, man. you can play you can play you can play us you can play us all over the place man <laughs> like it's not basic yeah but that utility we're utility man I can't compare myself to Milner though, man. Big up James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Darren Fletcher's. Yeah, no John O'Shea's. But yeah, this is the hangout sessions, and we just we just wanted to try and decipher Frank Ocean's little short film and just, just talk about endless. But yeah, make sure you subscribe if you like football and give us a like on Facebook. We got a Facebook page now. We're on Twitter at the Hang Sesh. Just Look out we'll for probably us do and... a few more of these to test, test out the waters, isn't it? Yeah, man. If you want us to cover anything, just let us know, man. Or if you want to come on and discuss something, let us know. But we do primarily do football. But yeah. Peace, we out. <laughs>